Hello there everybody, welcome back, this is Sarah. Today, we're gonna be creating our own perfume with this Project MC Squared Perfume Maker. I found this set at Walmart and it retails for about $30. And before I open this up, oh my gosh, aren't these glasses so super cute? I wish I could find something like that for me to wear. So let's get this box opened up and see exactly what they've included inside. So here is the maker itself. You know, it totally reminds me a little bit of like a mad scientist lab. <laughs> Also included in the box is a beaker, two of these little pipettes, three of these perfume atomizers, and these are actually really nice and high quality, and I really like that each one comes with a lid, so that it doesn't spill anywhere. Isn't that nice? This set also includes two scents. This one is called Poppy. Let's give this a sniff. Ooh, it smells fruity and sweet. Kind of like maybe like a berry? Hmm. Hard to pinpoint, but I do like it. The other one is called Violet. And this one smells like, ooh, it's a floral scent. I think I've smelled something very similar to this at Bath and Body Works. It's good. And of course, the set also includes instructions on how to use it. And just to let you guys know, you will need to provide some water. The instructions say distilled, but I'm just gonna be using regular water. So I'm looking at the instructions and I'm realizing that I don't have this quite fully set up yet. Both of these ends have to go in these bottles. And the lids have to be tight. I think that works. Let's do the other end, okay? And the middle just has to go right inside of the little bottle here. Perfect. Now I just have to fill up each of these containers with some of our water. And I'll add a couple drops of the violet scent. The lid goes back on and make sure that it's screwed on pretty tight. Now for the other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, only this time I'm gonna be putting in the poppy scent. Now it's time to make our perfume. All we have to do is press one of these two buttons here. This one is for the violet. And you can see that the liquid is traveling up those swirly tubes and into our beaker. I'll add just a little bit more and then I'm gonna switch over to the poppy. Now I'm just gonna grab one of these perfume atomizers and we're just gonna fill it with the stuff that's in our beaker. All right, you guys, put the lid back on and guess what? We have perfume. Let's give this a little spritz on our wrist. Let's see how this smells. Oh, it smells really good. It smells just a hint of floral and mainly just sweet. Ooh, I like this. Okay, let's make another one. This time to make our perfume a little bit more interesting, let's add some food coloring. So I'll add red to the poppy. And I'll add blue for the violet. Now I've washed out my beaker, so let's see what happens when we combine the red with the blue. <laughs> First, let's try out the red. Oh, this is way more fun. I love to see the color. And let's add 
some of the blue. Do you guys know what color this is gonna be if we add both red and blue? It's gonna be purple. Oh my gosh, and that's a really pretty purple color. Let's try this out on our other wrist. Ooh, this one's really good because I think I added more red, so this one's more fruity than floral. I like both of these, they smell really good. Well guys, I thought this set was fun and really easy to make perfume with. However, I do wish that this set would come with more than just two scents. If you have any of your own essential oils or baking extracts at home, like lemon or vanilla, you can always use those with this set as well. I appreciate you guys watching today, and if you're not a subscriber already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much again. As always, I will see you in the next video.